गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी करस्पॉन्डन्स करस्पॉन्डन्स मीन्स लेटर राइटिंग वी हॉव ऑफिशियल और प्रोफेशनल नेम वर्ड करस्पॉन्डन्स फॉर लेटर राइटिंग वॉट इज करस्पॉन्डन्स करस्पॉन्डन्स मीन्स अ डिस्टन्स और रिमोट कम्युनिकेशन इट शुड नॉट बी ओरल इट शुड बी द रिटर्न सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ओरल कम्युनिकेशन एंड करस्पॉन्डन्स before that i would like to tell you that oral communication means communication that we do with the help of words through the our mouth through our mouth as a result it is face to face communication correspondence is distance communication or remote communication oral communication is done with the help of words and correspondence is also done with the help of word but difference is that in oral correspondence spoken words are there in uh, <coughs> oral communication spoken words are there in correspondence written words are there that is the basic difference between the oral communication and correspondence so correspondence means communication via letters it may be email no doubt so distance communication is correspondence then you may say that when we are talking with someone or with the help of phone is it correspondence it is not correspondence it is oral communication because you are speaking with the help of medium or instrument that is what mobile phone or cell phone correspondence is always in the form of written that's why it is called as letter writing so there are two types of correspondence one is business correspondence another is social correspondence here we have another name professional uh, correspondence and personal correspond uh, correspondence again you say that what is your professional business or uh, we may say that it is related to the business or, or earning as a result this communication business communication is also called as business correspondence if it is done with the help of letters social correspondence means family letter personal letters we are not going to study it you know it very well so our focus is on the business correspondence as a result we will see first of all the four c's of business correspondence we have studied no doubt seven c's of communication that may be the written that may be the oral or spoken again we have seen the seven seeds related with the in general communication concept here i am going to focus on the four seeds of written communication first conciseness as you know that conciseness means shortness and uh, we have already talked about it that conciseness should be of meaning not at all should be of message not at all it should be in a less word much more information how to write it it's uh, it's very easy because if you practice a lot then you will understand and you will get master over the concept you know that letter writing is official work and as a result it must be concise easy to understand if it is larger one if it is more having uh, pages or maybe if you want to write ten line information you should write in four or five line in correspondence because more the matter more the time and more the uh, more energy we will we will lose in this work as a result letter writing should be first of all concise or accurate or proper one not uh, vague one not uh, bigger one next there should be clarity when we come to the clarity first of all we need to think about the words sentence construction and with the help of minimum words we have to construct minimum sentences and we have to give the lot of information there should not be complexity of meaning there should not be complexity of sentences your sentences should be short and easier one it should not be complex it should not be compound like that uh, if the sentences are compound complex then it becomes very difficult to understand it easily your message should be crystal clear and if you if you want your message crystal clear first of all you should be clear about what you want to write again there should be a good language or excellent language because every language means we have english language marathi language there are different registers technical register medical register other registers according to that we need to use the language of that particular register if you are doing the business so you have to use the words related to business avoid vague language in business letter writing vague language means round about saying hmm? and we have seen that round about saying means i like football i like playing i like it is general sense these are the general sentences we should not make such sentences we should make clear cut or concise sentences avoid round about saying that uh, what you know you you are going to do this and that such a way you should not talk right uh, word to word information as a result when you read a letter what is the uh, first line of letter 
or first uh, first line in the letter writing after the salutation always should have the beginning in very good manner otherwise what will happen if you are going to write ra uh, wrong about or uh, uh, anything that may increase the sentences only that should not be purpose of your writing in business letter next is the correctness correctness always must be there correctness of word writing correctness of sentence construction correctness of punctuation mark correctness of proper structure of letter writing as far as punctuation marks are concerned important because capitalization is there comma is there full stop there is question marks is there so many times student or people do mistake in writing of correspondence or in letter writing apostrophe mistakes comma mistakes where to use the full form where to use the punctuation mark these mistakes are generally they are observed with the letter writing and next courtesy as i said that dear sir you are faithfully courtesy is important these are the uh, these are the few words that you can use for the showing courtesy please such a words you need to use in the writing of correspondence or letter writing because courtesy is the major or important element of language if you have courtesy in your language it may be spoken or it may be written it becomes easier to achieve your target and after all in remote writing you are not there in front of the listener you are not there in front of the reader you are in the form of words there as a result your words must be powerful and if your words sentences and writing is powerful then your representation of knowledge or um, your academic uh, excellence will be presented in the form of writing as a result writing must be perfect and there are seven, seven c's but out of that seven c's these only four c's are important So which are those see first of all it must be concise message second clarity must be there in writing correctness must be there in writing and courtesy without courtesy you cannot show or you cannot show your success you cannot achieve in fact i in, instead of i saying show instead of that i may say that you cannot achieve the success easily and this last point we approach is important omni omni omniscient or omnipotent approach we approach means when you are going to write a letter you should write we are happy to inform you we concept we approach i am happy to inform you not at all because you are not going to write letter on the on the basis of only one on your responsibility because when you are working in a company company members company group is there all are responsible for that all means you are just representative of it of them that's why instead of using i you should use we we are going to invite you we we would like to purchase something from you such a way we you follow the we approach it becomes easier to handle the letter writing and see if you want to use your uh, skill of using we approach and again if you want to get immediate success i is not important we is important we means we means what we are all together company members whatever the company members are there then so all are responsible as a result we approach is important you should not use i in business correspondence because i is me me it means i personally am myself is going to do that it it is wrong way of writing letters so in this lecture what we have seen that correspondence means what written communication via distance it is in the form of letters and again it is not matching with the oral communication because oral communication has face to face contact in written communication or in correspondence we don't have face to face contact as a result it becomes very difficult for us to achieve the success because we are fun to face to face we can solve what are the problems arising in our communication at that time in written communication we don't have that chance as a result we should practice a lot to how to write written communication in the form of correspondence correspondence has two type business and business and social business means related to your <coughs> academic or career in that there are see for uh, invitation letter inquiry letter order letter purchase letter such letters types are there we are going to see one by one in next in oncoming videos then four c's are there one there are seven c's but out of that most important for your letter writing is first conciseness clarity correctness courtesy and we approach without we approach you cannot write the correspondence at all and you have to keep in mind we are together going to do all the things that we are mentioning in the letter to do as a result 
omnipotent or omnipotent approach is the we approach that you have to consider for letter writing okay in the next lecture we will see elements of letter writing in, in <coughs> suppose if you are going to write one page letter or you are going to write two page letter but all the few elements are there important elements of letter that those should be there in the letter and there is a particular format which is that format in the next lecture we will see it